Welcome to Drosh Studio. Today we're going to learn about the serratus muscles. Let's get started. The serratus are a series of muscles on the upper side of our rib cage. The serratus originate on the side of the upper eight ribs and move back as eight finger-like muscles where they insert on the underside of the scapula at the vertebral or inner border. They get their name from their serrated sawtooth shape. From the front, the upper half of the serratus muscles are hidden by the pectoralis muscle. This means that we generally only see the bottom three or four serratus muscles. From the back, the latissimus will hide them from view. And from the side, we will see the serratus weave into the obliques where the two groups overlap. On the front, if we draw an arc from the pit of the neck through the nipple, this gives us a fairly good placement for the serratus. You can also see this arc as the plane change from the front to the side of the rib cage, showing how the serratus sit on the side of the ribs. From the side view, the serratus fan out, arcing towards the back. The serratus moves the scapula forward. Because they anchor to the rib cage and act on the inside of the scapula, when the serratus contracts, it will pull the scapula forward towards the front of the body. The serratus are also a contrasting group to the rhomboid muscles. If the rhomboids pull the scapula towards the center of the back, the serratus will aid in pulling it forward again. Now let's find the serratus from the surface. We can identify the pectoralis and the latissimus first, because the serratus will emerge from underneath them. This model has a developed physique, and this sawtooth shape here clearly shows the bottom three serratus fanning back on the side of the rib cage. Remember, while we only see a portion of the serratus, they do go higher and wrap around the back to insert on the underside of the scapula. These bottom serratus will connect to the rib cage, weaving into the obliques here. And we can see all of these muscles interacting with each other. Even when the physique is not as muscular, like this model, we will often see a hint of the serratus as soft shapes on the side of the rib cage. Look for the characteristic serrated or sawtooth shape coming out of the armpit. These shadows coming out are often confused for the serratus, but they are actually the sections of the oblique weaving into the serratus. You can tell them apart because the serratus will be further back than the lines of the obliques. Remember all of these points when drawing the serratus. Analyze the anatomy on the surface of your reference and draw from observation and memory to help you learn. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to drosh.com for more information on these topics and many more. If you want to see more videos like this, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.